Uh, I'm Kirk Brand. I'm from eastern Nebraska around Fremont. Uh, we've been strip tilling for about four years now. Uh, this is our fourth year. We're really happy with the system. Uh, this is one of our fields that we've done. Uh, we normally uh, pull a Montag cart behind a strip cap machine and and uh, we do all our soybean ground uh, for corn next year. We rotate most everything. Uh, we do have a little corn on corn that we also strip till. It works well. Uh, we uh, in our first year we just put on 100 pounds of uh, a product called Mez from CVA. Uh, and we found that we needed some potash too, which Mez doesn't have after some testing. So now we use a blended product of Mez and, and uh, an Aspire, which is a potash uh, boron. Uh, and uh, it seems to be really good, working good for us. Uh, we still have things we want to improve on our system. Uh, we're going to try and smooth our berm out a little bit for uh, maybe a little better ride on our planter units. Um, we have a precision planter uh, equipment on our planter. We're really happy with that. Um, in the past, we did uh, ridge till, uh, and that was a good system, but uh, it was an awful lot of cultivating for us uh, to get our ridge built to plant on the next year. So this system seems to work really well that way. Uh, really happy with having the fertility right under the corn roots. Uh, our roots seem to go down quicker uh, than they used to. Uh, we don't have compaction under the rows, uh, and our yields have come up uh, since then. So uh, we're pretty happy with the whole system. So yeah, the first year we just used Mez and we were putting on about 100 pounds of that product per acre with our strip till bar and then we were pulling an anhydrous machine behind it uh, and putting on about two thirds of our nitrogen. Um, didn't think we had that much of a need for potash. We only thought we had it in a few fields. Well, we went back and studied our grid soil samples a little better and found out that some of our, more of our fields needed potash than we thought. Uh, so we did a test where uh, replicated maybe four or five times. We did 48 rows with uh, the Mez and 48 rows with the Mez and the Aspire. Uh, and we saw about a six bushel increase on that particular field. Uh, so now we use a blend of 100 pounds of Mez and 50 pounds of Aspire per acre. Uh, our goal is to, in the future, uh, variable rate all our strip till so we're, the, we're putting the proper amount of potash and phosphorus uh, in the right spots. Um, we haven't got to that yet, uh, but that is our goal. So someday we hope to, hope to be able to do that.